What's up guys? So, it has finally happened. So it's Texas, and it's hot, and I was sitting here in the RV, it's about 3 o'clock. Air conditioner's running, fridge is running, I had my air fryer and instant pot going. And I'm sitting here, and then all of a sudden I hear a click, and the instant pot and the air fryer both turn off. So I can tell that the fridge has just been turned on to propane. My computer charger is not working, so I, I think that the electrical system shut off. And I don't know exactly how it works, so uh, Matt's at work. I tried calling him. I think he's in a meeting. He didn't answer. So I've got the air turned off for now. Um, I don't want to cause any more issues or run our propane down if, if that's what's fueling everything right now. So I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do. I know it's not good. I honestly should have known better to not run everything right now during the middle of the day whenever it's hottest and the air conditioner is running. Matt's calling back. Hey. I think that our power system was just turned off. Whatever. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. Let's figure this out, guys. Uh, I always tell y'all, we're honest about this journey. This is the first time this has happened, so I'm not quite sure what is going to happen from here, but let's go pick up Matt and see what we can figure out. It's probably just a breaker. Like breaker, one, one there we the go. Breakers, yeah, so there it, we go. I just have to go in and take a look. I mean, if they just, maybe something minor, which so, I don't know what it could be. How much stuff were you running? Everything. You're running so, everything? So, well, the air, fridge, instant pot, air fryer, because my computer charger was plugged in. I even thought to myself, like, when I turned the air fryer and instant pot on, I was like, this might be too much with everything else, but I did it anyway. You learned. Yeah, I did. I don't even know how to fix this stuff. It doesn't seem like it's horrible because it's not a completely, not a complete blackout. Right? You said things well, were propane, kicking on. propane kicked on. Well, yeah, for the fridge, right? Yeah. What about the AC? I guess it's running off the battery. Well, check the battery tower, man. I don't know where I put stuff. What stuff? The manual that tells me where the fuse is. That covers those three outlets. Some may have one, some may have two. Push the reset button. That light works. Yeah. No. Found it. <laughs> okay, so. There you oh, go. wait. It worked? Yeah. So, you had to flip the breaker. Oh, well, yeah. I, and then reset that. But, so if this is for the camera, um, I did it very. Well, it's not the way you're supposed to do it. So what you're really supposed to do is find out what caused that surge, which, well, in this case, we kind of know it was. It was me. It was you. But in a normal scenario, say if you're gone and all of a sudden you come back from a trip, you know, like out hiking or something, and you come back and things aren't working, it's better to actually find out what the problem is by doing these little tests and trying to, like, trace it back to the source. Single outlet. Um, but if you don't have a clue, then it's good to find an electrician to do it. Hmm. I mean, That's yeah, what I was reading online. It may be like a $60 charge, but at the same time, you're not blowing out your entire system. Air fry is working. My computer's charging. So that fixed it. Crisis averted! <laughs> Why are you wet? Eh. Eh. <laughs> there you go, guys. That could have been real bad, especially in the summertime. Now my question is, why was it not running off of battery, the AC? So just like the outlets had been tripped? Yeah. Ah. So everything's broken down. Do you want to show this again? Sure. If your fuses in there, most of them are actually uh, 15 amp. Uh, then you have your 30, which is probably the main down at the bottom. I'm guessing everything runs to there and then everything else is just kind of divided up. And so if you're running too many things, you're going to blow out one of them. And then so you triggered the one that's it's like right here. It was that. It's the appliance. Oh, makes sense because it was and the bat, plugs. I guess. I don't know how. They blew two. But it was everything related to this 15 break right here. Let that be a lesson for you new RVers like us. Don't push it. And I was like, no, we can handle it. And it could have been a lot worse. So I'm going to run the Instant Pot right now, but not the air fryer. Go! Wait, buzz, stay. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, not you. Sorry. So Matt figured that while we're um, on the topic of fixing things, he's going to take a look at our water heater today. It's the little water heater anode, right? So we still have that stinky water issue and it's definitely the water heater. He's gonna take a look at it. We've never looked at it before. Oh, it's that guy right there. 
Well, apparently we don't have the right tool to change out or clean off the water heater anode rod. My question to you guys is what tool do you use? Like specific, do you guys have a link to where we can get it off of Amazon or um, anything else? So we're gonna do some research, but if we don't have it by then, let us know what you guys use to take the anode out because it's really tight in there, right Matt? Yeah. It's very tight. You ready for the grocery haul? Are you ready? You're kind of in the way. That's okay. Okay. To show you guys what I got at the store today. Hopefully the lighting is okay right now. I'm gonna make some lasagna later this week. I've got noodles, I got some sauce. We got salsa, refried beans, because that guy, all he eats is tacos. All I eat are garbanzo beans. I'm gonna try some hemp seeds. I've never tried them before, so if you do like hemp seeds, let me know how to use them, because I don't really know. Like, I just put them in oats or something cold brew coffee. I got some L-glutamine and creatine. This helps with recovery for my workouts. Avocados, coleslaw for salad bowls. This cheese for the lasagna. Got some tofu. Frozen zucchini, brown rice, regular rice, greens, greens, peppers. Hey, guy, Buzz. <laughs> You're supposed to be calm, Buzz. Got some cantaloupe that was like a dollar. This plant-based high protein, zero carb milk, nut milk, cashew milk. These were on sale, so I got some of those. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Something for your dogs. So that's what I got at the grocery store. You think this will last us like two days? Do. I'm gonna eat all this right now. I'll probably eat like half of this bag, like a quarter of that, half of one of these, half of one of these. What she got, Brady? Do you want some guacamole? Brady, do you want some guacamole? Bring me the box. Bring me the box. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Drop it. Drop, 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 drop it, drop, drop it. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of Target and I'm super pumped because we were going through and we're making, we, we've got four more bags, uh, care packages in the making. So I needed to get a few things for those. We got some different snacks this time, like some Annie's granola bars, and we saw some peanut butter crackers, and then some applesauce pouches. It is so hot here, and I mean, when it's not raining, it's super hot, super sunny. And the people that um, we give these bags to, they're standing out on the corners with no shade. So I can only imagine, you know, how badly they need sunscreen. Anyway, so I'm really excited. I wanted to share that with you guys. Our goal is to be able to do full size sunscreen bottles, like high quality stuff to include in these care packages. But as we continue to increase our funds, we can improve the quality, the types of products that we can put in these care packages. But as of right now, we're putting in what we can afford with the funds that we have. We're, we're just doing what we can with what we have at this moment. Um, and I think that every single one that we pass out makes a huge difference to those people. So that's awesome. And any of you guys that are helping us on Patreon, Thank you so much. We've had a few new patrons join in and we always put the names of everybody down in the description box. So then we're, we're just ecstatic to see this continue to grow and we're gonna go tomorrow to Voodoo Donut before we go climbing. And that's where we see everybody. So we're gonna be able to pass out, I'm guessing all of them that we have right now. So really excited about that. Thank you.